So on this section of the stand we're showing two more demonstrations, um, very diverse in, in terms of the markets that they treat. On the left hand side we have a consumer demonstration, on the right hand side we have a, an avionics style demonstration. So if I look at the consumer one first, here we have a, uh, an IMX6 tablet which is using the Trust Zone uh, technology within the ARM processor. Pico S as a, a safe and secure uh, platform uh, for, for software is, is able to run on that Trust Zone environment, it's able to complement that Trust Zone environment. So that um, here in the, in, the, in the diagram here, uh, we can see that we're running uh, a, a secure world and a normal world. And, and, and those are terms which are used within the Trust Zone uh, technology. Pico S added to that gives us the safe and secure separation between those two environments. So here we're running uh, an Android um, instance uh, in the normal world, which is giving us the ability to drive all of the graphics displays on the tablet. So all of the display that you see is actually coming from Android. Um, coupled to that, in the secure world, we have a, a Pico S application that's running, doing some very simple cryptography um, in the demonstration. All, all we're doing here is actually changing the case of some information that's been typed in on the screen. Um, but you can see that that cryptography could be very more, uh, more complex. It could be banking information that you're using in the tablet, um, which you don't want to be shared with the, uh, the, the Android that's running on the, on the tablet environment. So here what happens is as, as text is typed into the Android front end, that is sent by a communication channel to Pico S in the secure world, which utilizes the cryptography to simply send back the string in, a, in an uppercase, or if we type in in, in uppercase, it turns it to lowercase. Um, very simple example, but I think you can see the power of using that type of environment. Uh, we have four cores that are running on this tablet, uh, and, and Pico S can uh, configure where those cores are, are, are dedicated. So we have three of the cores being given to, to Android to drive the, the, the graphics and the tablet environment, um, and, uh, and a single core um, used to, uh, to, to drive the, the, the secure world with the, with the Pico S application that's running on top of the hypervisor. So very much targeted at the consumer market whereby you want to separate sensitive data that you're running on that tablet. On the right hand side here we have a, uh, an avionics style application so you can see the scalability of Pico S from scaling right down to, to consumer devices right up to high-end um, certified um, avionics applications so here we're utilising some of our, um, our partner technology uh, with Core AVI, um, SCADE display, to bring together a, an avionics style application. So Pico S has been used as the hardware, um, the, the, the virtualization software layer, safety and security again, um, which is running on top of the, um, of the uh, Core IQ hardware in this demonstration. Um, to, uh, to, to be able to drive the, um, the Core AVI libraries which are the certified libraries which allow the display to display the sort of information that we see here. Um, the reason we use, we're utilizing Core AVI for, for this demonstration is because they have certified libraries, DO178B level A, um, running on top of Pico S, again DO178B certified. So together that complements a complete solution um, whereby we, uh, in, a, in the avionics space, where we have a lot of pedigree at Cisco, um, Pico S was very much developed for the avionics market. Certification is a, is a core part of, of our business. Uh, our recent uh, multi-core certification being the first in the industry to be able to certify more than one core um, in, a, in a, um, a safety critical application means that we have a unique uh, position in the industry uh, whereby we can leverage certification applications, not only just in the avionics space, but also in the consumer space, in the automotive space, that we saw in the, in the previous demonstration. Um, so again, two, two very diverse um, applications that Pico S is used for, but in all of these, we're using the, the very same Pico S software. We only have one product. Uh, Pico S is, uh, is, is a single source uh, um, hypervisor, whereby we, we don't have a product for just for safety and one for security. We address safety and security in the same product. The same Pico S source is being used on the tablet, as it's being used in the avionics display, as it's being used in the automotive application, or also on our booth. Um, which means that markets can leverage the technology that we're developing with any of the other markets. All of the certification experience that we have as a company and our processes all go into that same product, whether you are an automotive consumer or whether you are an avionics provider. 
So hopefully this gives you a, a, an idea of the scalability of PicoS and some of the technology that we're bringing to those markets.